invite me? Thank you. Welcome to another episode of Drum and Bombs with Chris Hernandez. I'm your host, Chris Hernandez. And, um, oh shit, hold on. Mm. Fuck my life. Alright, so I got a, I got a huge package that I get to unbox today. Um, mm hmm. I don't even know what it is. Obviously, um, so it's a late birthday present that I got from a cousin of mine. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's pretty light. I don't know how. Uh, I don't know what it could be, right? Um, could be. Uh, I, you know, I, it, it could be a giant dildo, or it says fragile on it though. But uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a maybe it's a giant glass dildo, or uh, you know, fucking a dude glass dildo. That'd be fucking crazy, right? Imagine it was a glass dildo and it just breaks off in your ass as you're riding it. You know what I mean? Or in your pussy, because I'm sure they make these for women too. Um, but uh. Uh, I don't know what it is, man. It's just it's just fragile on it. Uh, could be uh, uh, like a box full of COVID positive things in there. I don't know. Uh, it, it's from my cousin, you know. He loves uh, he loves Hondas and big titty bitches and weed. Um, it, it's probably drug paraphernalia, something homoerotic or. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, it could be, hmm, could be a whole number of things, really. But shout out to my cousin Serge. Um, thank you for this birthday present. And uh, well, I mean, let's not wait any longer. You know, I'm fucking dying of curiosity. Yeah, which which knife? Which knife is more? You know what? Open it with, uh, hopefully it's something American, right? Because this is one of the knives I got when I was in Afghanistan. Uh, let's open the fucking beer with it too, you know? Why not? Get some of that Afghan dust in it. Oh, actually there's a bunch of gunk in there. Probably fell in my beer. Whatever. Mm. Knowing my cousin, whatever the fuck it was, he probably coughed all over it. You know what I mean? Just, uh... Trying to hook it up with those antibodies, you know what I mean? Trying to get a motherfucker immune to to COVID like uh, like Donald Trump, you know, because he's immune to COVID. Um, let's see what the fuck we got in here. So yeah. God damn. Let me tape this bitch up. And you know what? I I swear to God. Serge, if, if this is a goddamn glitter bomb, you know, which I, he spoke to me on the phone. He said it wasn't a glitter bomb. He also said he never heard of a glitter bomb. And he joked about, uh, well, now I know what to get you for Christmas. I swear to God, motherfucker, if you get me a goddamn glitter bomb for Christmas. All right, so it's fragile. It's big. Let's see what we got here. Oh, did I not cut tape? Jesus Christ. Grown ass man does not know how to cut tape. Chavato vale verga. Oh, there we go. It's bubble wrap. There's no ticking, which is a good sign. You know, no vibrating, which is a bad sign. Because, uh, hmm. 
Mm. Um, you know, not that I want a vibrator, but you know. I was hoping it was like one of those full-size blow-up dolls or, or the uh, the latex dolls, right? Oh, what is this? God damn it. Jesus Christ. Everybody loves bubble wrap until, until it's taped together. Fucking okay. oh, shit, right? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, this was, we got more tape. So, ta perra madre. La verga. Jesus Christ. Oh, dude. Get fucked. This thing is fucking. I, dude, I, I thought this was gonna be more of a gag than anything. But, uh. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. How fucking badass is that, right? How fucking California is that for my Texas house, right? So it's, uh, for all you fuckfaces that pretend like you don't have YouTube on your phone, which you do, it, it comes on there already, you fucking moron. You know, not that anybody wants to look at me, but, oh man, it's real cheap too. Oh, for sure, this is from a California swamp meat, like 100%, or it's homemade, which either way, I mean, I appreciate it. I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. This thing's amazing. Hmm. So it's a big ass fucking piece of wood with the, like it's a wooden board, but it's a, a key, a key holder or a place to hang your, place to hang your blocks. <laughs> I mean, your keys, your keys. Nah, but this thing is fucking awesome. This thing is fucking badass. Thank you, Serge. Again, a million times over. So it's a, it's like a, Big San Francisco 49ers sign with the uh, what is it the thing you see on sugar cookies during Halloween it's actually Mexican as fuck right but but uh, you know it's just on sugar cookies during Halloween nobody knows what it is or why it's there but but yeah that the skull the sugar skull right and then on the other side it's got a San Francisco 49ers logo it's uh it's all really cheaply made uh, it's paper mache, you know, I think it's, you can smell like the, the maple syrup they use to just stick it on there, you know what I mean? It's not even stuck on there well, but, but, uh, no, it's nice as fuck. I'm sorry, Serge, you know, I gotta talk shit, dude, but, uh, this totally, like, no, it's badass, dude, I mean, like, you could have just sent me a picture of this, I could have made this at home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Serge. No, this is fucking awesome, cousin. This is real great, man. I fucking love it. Oh, and it's got a bottle opener on the on the side as well as uh, Niner logos for all those idiots that think fucking they can't watch this and they just listen to it. Mm. Oh, this thing's cool as fuck, bro. And, uh... He definitely said he wanted this in the back of the podcast at all times or something, or maybe just today. I will say this, it'll, it'll definitely perch itself right here for the rest of the bullshit I got to say today. But, uh, I mean, this is, I broke it. <laughs> I'm sorry, one second, man. Let me move some shit around. Oh, goddamn. Nah, it didn't break, but, but how fucking awesome would it be if it if it did break? You know what I mean? I mean, it'd be awesome in a horrible way, but... Alright, hang on, let's try that again. Alright. Oh, I guess it just stands there all on its own. But it's pretty cool. It's got four brass hooks, and then on the edge it's got a bottle opener fucking screwed to it. It's, uh... I mean, it's real, real homemade by by a, a meth addict. Um, no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Honestly, this thing's fucking amazing, Serge. 
and uh, I fucking love it. And uh, seriously, thank you fucking from the bottom of my heart, bro. This shit's fucking awesome. Anyways. I mean, it could have been better. I thought you were going to give me like a, some kind of fucking dildo or something. I mean, hopefully not a glass one because, you know, then you're just asking for trouble. You know what I mean? Depending on how hard you twerk. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah, that thing's fucking awesome. Um, thank you for that, Serge. Uh, shout out to Big Serge and, uh, my cousins, Gordy's Junior. Uh, junior, Junior's my uh, my. Uh, he's a he's a bacon 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 cousin. Uh, underfunded as of late. Um, you know, because they just want to cut funds on the cops, I guess. But uh, yeah, um, which actually I spoke to him today. I was and I, the first thing I asked my cousin was like, "Hey, how are you guys on the on the making a kid?" side of things you know and uh because he's the same age as me and i was hoping he was suffering the same bullshit i'm suffering through is uh you know um jasmine just wants me to stop drinking and stop smoking and you know uh, it's just retarded to have a baby like come on uh, we've already gone over this plenty of times before you know like i was a i was birthed through plenty of drugs and i came out okay but yeah, my, you know, my cousin, he, he told me, he's like, yeah, no, 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 we're not trying to have a kid, but we're not not trying to have a kid. God damn, cheers to that. Let's... Cheers to not planning it, right? Suck all the fun out of that. But, um, yeah. And what else did he say? No, oh, he said, uh, he kind of wanted to see if I can get him an AR, because... They don't have enough funds to buy an AR for every swinging dick in the fucking the department, I guess. And he's in a fucking pretty rich ass department, I would think so. But but of course, the California guy asking the fucking Texas guy for an AR, right? It just goes to show you're not really living in America. Um, but oh, speaking of fucking not living in America, I retired. I got I got my license plate, my, my California license plate up there. Um, which uh, yeah, you know I got my Texas plates, so it's official fully. I'm actually an American now. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know what's funny is that yeah, because I. I've bought, well, I haven't bought multiple cars, but, you know, my wife has, um, and I've helped her look for them, right? And usually when we're looking for cars, well, yeah, actually, I think I bought her two cars, and of course, she, and he, she runs through cars. It's women, you know what I mean? Um, but it always made me wonder how, like, some people post pictures of their car, and it's like, uh, you know, some people put their thumb over the the license plate on the picture, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, fucking, it's my personal information, you know what I mean? It's like, you act like you're taking a picture of your social security card and just covering the numbers, you know? It's like, dick, get the fuck out of here, you know what I mean? Like, you're trying to protect your personal information. Like, you act like somebody's gonna fucking look up your fucking license plate number on the DMV and be like, oh, I'm gonna fucking, this guy's an idiot. I'm gonna pay his parking tickets, that'll show him to fucking protect his personal information. Um, which is fucking, it, it always struck me kind of funny. I mean, I don't know, I've never tried to sell any any vehicle on online or anything, but it always seemed kind of fucking weird to me to cover up your license plate. Like, nobody's gonna come pay your fucking parking tickets for you. You know what I mean? I mean, but then again, I'm a fucking moron, so there's probably, I mean, if I think about it, Oh, what the fuck can you do with a license plate number? But I don't know. You should feel free to comment on the fucking uh, YouTube comments to just tell me how much a moron I am. But yeah, it's like, oh, what the fuck? Somebody's going to fucking pay off your warrant. You know what I mean? Like, fuck off. Um, all right. Um, what else happened? Um, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Well... 
You know, I was hoping for like a sex doll or something, you know what I mean? That would have been pretty fucking cool, you know. But And now that I was like thinking about dildos and sex dolls, like really trips me out how advanced things have gotten. You know what I mean? There's these, there's these fucking sick ass fuck machines out there. You know, with fucking, it, it's like buying a, a, a really, it's like the Lexus of, of uh, sex toys. Is buying one of those like, what is it, rubber or latex fucking dolls? They're fucking insane. Like, you know, like now you don't have to jack off. You can just stick your dick in a, a full size body that's actually just latex. You know what I mean? Uh... I don't know. I feel like we're we're only a few years away from the fact that they they you know like oh <laughs> like you put the donor the donor dot on your license you know what I mean and they just take your pussy out and put it in a fucking latex body you know what I mean <laughs> so it's like it's like you go online and order yourself uh, one of those uh those full on uh what is it it's it's like a fuck robot right I think you could put a voice in it you could. Pick the size titties, the size ass, the girth of the bitch and everything, you know what I mean? I feel like we're only a few years away from them actually pulling tits and fucking pussies from a cadaver. And just being like, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, that, that's actually an antique. That's actually Pamela Anderson's pussy in your doll. That's $10,000 for the twat alone. <laughs> It'd probably be crazy, but... But then they'd have to like I don't know put a bunch of rubber bands in it just to just to give it some some grip you know what I mean like I mean I don't imagine Pamela Anderson's pussy as much as you were probably a fan or you know whatever I don't even know if Pamela Anderson is dead which actually hang on hey Siri hey Siri uh huh is Pamela Anderson dead. Anderson was born the 1st of July 1967 and is 53 years old. Oh, she's 53. I mean, well, you know, I mean, I guess you could imagine you get, it's like a it's like getting a, a car model, you know what I mean? It's like you want that 1970 Chevy Chevelle or or do you want like the 2020 Chevy Chevelle? You know what I mean? Imagine it's like do you want the uh 2020 Pamela Anderson or the uh 1983 Pamela Anderson, you know, and it's like fucking the 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 grip that rips, you know what I mean? It almost it it can almost circumcise you if you go too hard on it, you know what I mean? But like, I mean, that'd be pr that'd be pretty wild if uh, they start getting cadaver pussies and just putting them in those robots. And imagine like the price range, the price range. It'd be like buying a car, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you could buy a like an old beat up Honda Civic or you could buy a brand new Honda Accord or you know something like that and you get like uh like a like a Oprah Winfrey would be like a she'd be like the uh the Range Rover or something like a thick bitch you know what I mean you got to pay more you got to pay more dollars based on the girth of the woman you know what I mean um And, uh, fuck. Yeah, that can go a long way. You know, antique pussies. You know what I mean? Or, mm. But yeah, like, antique pussies put in a, in a fucking, in a robot. Or not a robot. I guess it's not really a robot. You know what I mean? It kind of is. You put a voice to it. You know what I mean? But, I don't know. Maybe, you, imagine you got this, like, straight friend, but he's actually into transgender porn. So he he has this full on bomb ass big tittied fucking tight pussied woman as his sex robot, but it's like it's Dwayne the Rock Johnson's voice moaning out of it, you know, as you're fucking it. Be like, oh yeah, you give the Rock what he's cooking. <laughs> That'd be fucking wild, man. I um, sex toys nowadays are just getting fucking crazy. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, for the woman, it's, it, it's crazy. The, the spectrum of the difference that w with, uh, with sex toys and shit that came out nowadays is just, uh, it's, 
you know, like for women, it was it's you know they got the they got the cock ring, which is it goes on the guy, but it's for her, right? And they have this cock ring that like it vibrates and shit. It's for her, you know, whatever it goes on you, but it's for her. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you're you're worth shit. You know what I mean? Like they they need more than whatever the fuck you got. You know what I mean? I mean, even even you you watch porn and it's all bendy. You know what I mean? Like you, you see like you ever like. You're pumping full full force, right? And uh, like, and this has happened to me, right? Where I'm like fucking going full force from behind, and then boom, it slips out. Why? Because I'm stroking like I got this much, but I really got this much. You know what I mean? But so I I, I overdo my stroke, and it pulls out and it slams right in the back door, top door. I mean, depending on where you're sitting. Um, <laughs> You know, and she screams in pain because, you know, it just went from the P to the A. But, uh, but it goes in. Why? Because my dick is actually hard. And, uh, a porn star, though, y you watch porn, and that's when it's like, it's kind of dis, it's kind of disingenuous. You know what I mean? Like, like the guy's supposedly hard, but really, and I think I've mentioned this before, you know, it's hard enough for penetration, not hard enough for pleasure. And she's really just acting it out, right? Trying to sound like she's getting that great D. Which, don't get me wrong. A soft 12 is way better than a hard 4, right? But, uh, but it's just, it's so disingenuous, you know what I mean? Like, the guy's fucking ramming. Boom, 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 boom. Doggy style. All oh, puss, all oh, puss, 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 puss. And then it's, and he, he, he fucking just, which is hard to, overstate your stroke when you got 12 inch length you know what i mean but sometimes they do it and then for me a normal guy with a real rock hard cock i'd pull out slam right in the back door all the way you know and it's happened before you know and i feel horrible you know especially because eh, blue balls it sucks but uh but he fucking slips out and just Boom, and, and it, it looks like uh, it looks like the crash test dummies car. You know what I mean? Where they launch it from that slingshot, and then you see the whole car just collapse. Just you know, and the dummies just get obliterated. You know what I mean? And uh, that's what it looks like. You know, the big giant twelve inches come right out and just fold like a goddamn card table as soon as they hit the back door. You know what I mean? Like they don't. They don't make it at all, you know, and uh, it's just, I don't even know where I was going with that. <laughs> but, oh, well, I guess uh, Viagra, right? I mean, that's what a lot of porn stars use. But yeah, there's Viagra, cock rings, uh, dildos for women and guys and guys, you know. Um, but, uh, but it's all shitty. It's all shitty. Uh, it's all shitty equipment. You know what I mean? When you think about it, it's very... It's not very new age, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I guess, I don't know. Uh, but then it, it takes, but, but then it, it takes more for a woman to fucking come than a guy. You know what I mean? Like the other day, like, uh, you know, I just got horny and I tried to go in there and, you know, talk up the old lady. You know, I tried to be like, hey, come here, you know? Mm, let me show you. Let me show you this. Yeah, you know, and uh, I, I I don't know why I do that shit, but I do that shit just to fuck with Jasmine, just talking that weird, creepy voice. But uh, but no, all right. And I wasn't even doing that. I was just, well, all right. Uh, maybe I was being a little silly, right? But then Jasmine starts being extremely silly to me, you know. So then I'm like, I like, I'm actually hard. Like I'm actually trying to get some, you know. And then uh, she's obviously she puts out, you know what I mean? It's on command, you know what I mean? We're we're on the clock 24-7, you know what I mean? When you live together, it's just like you, you don't say no. And if you do say no, well, one or the other waits till the other one goes to sleep and you get fucked anyways, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's kind of like government rules, you know? Like you're going to get fucked whether you want it or not, right? So... I go in there and I'm fucking rock hard and she's completely out of it. Like, dude, I was watching my show. And uh, and then she has the nerve to complain when I finish 30 seconds in. You know what I mean? But I was there with a goal. You know, it wasn't, 
it wasn't a, it wasn't a, it's not a team game, you know, it was a 1v1 and I fucking won, you know what I mean? Because I got, I, I finished her, or I finished me, I guess, but uh, anyways, and then again, I just, I don't even really know where I'm going with that, but uh, yeah, and you know what they need to make? They need to make, uh, they need to make a Roomba. That's like, uh, that has like a vacuum that's like up top, kind of like sits like a cobra or like a snake, like it's a ready to strike, right? And it just rolls around the room just looking for dick. And you could just sit there and then it just, and just, you know, fucking, it cleans house. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, we can make this thing solar powered or something like it'll just roam around the house with a solar panel on its back, like just waiting to to find the window. And then when the sun goes over the house and it starts dying out, it fucking starts roaming the house again and then just finds the window at the back of the house where the sun still hits it to keep it charged and shit. But it just sits there just just waiting to fuck it. It's like a. It's like a Roomba milker, something like that. You know what I mean? I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, I ain't, Jesus Christ. I don't know. I I mean, I feel I, Tesla. Tesla's on to some shit nowadays. You know, you you never know. I mean, the guy doesn't disappoint. Um, Elon Musk. Could you imagine if he was involved in sex toys? He should be involved in everything. The guy never really sleeps. You know, just uh, just build us a little something. You know what I mean? Just a little something, you know? Which we all look forward to your new shit. You know what I mean? But, but just build us a, like, I mean, he built a flamethrower off a of whim, right? I mean, he could easily build you a vacuum that cleans your house and cleans you out as well at all times. You know what I mean? I don't know, maybe he could put a little tongue in it or something. Or a little, like, uh, a little shocker. A little, like, a, the shocker attachment. If it's all just, if it's all just slits living in the house, you just, like, put a little shocker attachment. You know what I mean? Not to be, uh, you know, one-sided. You know what I mean? You gotta be open to everything. Or, uh, you know, if it's a house full of trannies, you put the shocker in there so one goes in the butt and one goes into their inside-out penis. Mm. I don't know, man. But uh, but those rubber fuck dolls are fucking insane. They're like two thousand dollars, dude. But I mean, I, you know, it's if Jasmine ever leaves me, um, I mean, fuck, why not? You know what I mean? I uh, if Jasmine leaves, she's trying to have a kid right now, so. <laughs> And it's funny how I make that sound like it's a one-sided thing. Which, I mean, in all, in all reality, it is. It's a one-sided thing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying I don't want a kid. But I don't really want to be a parent. You know what I mean? Or actually, maybe it's the other way around. I don't really want a fucking kid. But I want to be a parent. I, I don't know. Uh, uh. But either way, it's just, it's all bad. Right? Um... Jesus Christ, fuck off. Just fucking be at work, dude. God damn it. I can just text her, quit. Just quit your fucking job, right? I mean, Jasmine's working a double right now. She's texting me that she hasn't eaten, and it's just kind of like, well, I mean, you know, um, there's always, there's always not working there, right? I mean, right? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just horrible. See, and she wants to have a kid with me, and I'm saying shit like this. Um, but anyways, um, what else we got? Oh, you know what? Now that we're talking about sex, sex type of sex, sex shit, right? Um, uh, 
so you know, so I was, I was, I was getting my, uh, I was chafing, I was chafing myself. Um, um, yeah, because I never use lotion, you know, so I always end up like, you know, just tearing, tearing it a little, tearing a little bit, like, kind of circumcising myself with my rough hands, you know, because I'm a man. Um, but, uh, man, I, I need recommendations from you guys. And uh, if you guys could please, I mean, I really need this. It's actually really important um, that uh, you guys uh, send me some recommendations on, act on websites to use for porn. Because uh, I was always a P-Hub guy myself, you know what I mean? Uh, P Hub, P Hub's always been good to me, right? And then, uh, so uh, I'm over here fucking flipping, flipping through the 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 TV guide, if you will, of uh, of uh, of porn, and uh, I end up clicking on uh, I, I don't know if it was Young Latinas or something or whatever or. 18 Latinas or something with Latinas, right? But, uh, fuck my life, man. I mean, because usually, yeah, or yeah, it was probably like teenage Latinas or whatever, but teenage usually just means it doesn't mean it's a fucking actual teen, you know what I mean? Because you click on teenage white girls and shit or something, and, uh, or it's usually 18 and over or something like that, right? But you look at their face, this bitch is 25. You know what I mean? I mean, I've seen plenty of actors in regular movies in Hollywood where, you know, obviously this guy's 32. He's just very good looking and he's going to play a high school student this movie. You know what I mean? It happens all the time, right? So in porn, it's the same thing, right? So so you, you type in like teen teenage white girls or, or barely 18. And not that I, obviously not, I'm not a, a pedophile and I'm not trying to actually watch fucking teenagers and you know you but anyways all right i'm, I'm driving for my point but you get it right so you, you look up uh, barely 18 it's like this bitch is 22 years old and she's getting railed right which is cool you know whatever you know sometimes you want that sometimes you want the old hag you know what i mean sometimes i want fucking nipples at nipples at knees nipples at knees or or you know fucking gross balls ugh um, <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, sometimes you look at the MILF shit, you know what I mean? Variety, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I think I, like, clicked on some kind of Latinas thing, right? And, uh, yeah, P-Hub legitimately has fucking teenage girls on the site, like, like, teenage girls, like, it was fucking gross i've read about that on the internet before and i was like nah it's bullshit i've never seen anything like that all these bitches are definitely of age which how the fuck do i know them it's not like i fucking fucking email them for their id right i mean i guess ultimately you don't fucking know i guess whoever's on Pornhub. i mean i guess ultimately uh, to, to a point you 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 might have watched child porn at one point or another which you didn't really fucking understand right? you you didn't really notice right but uh, i went to the latina section and uh yeah man it was uh it was uh it's pretty sickening um and again i didn't ask for those bitches ids or anything either i don't know it for a fact but i know what teenage girls like legitimately look like and uh yeah man Pornhub's fucking disgusting they legitimately I swear to fucking god if you look like barely something with Latinas man um they legit I mean it's, just, it's legit yeah I didn't watch any of it you know what I mean like I didn't actually click on it but like like you just see the, the 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 first image, and then I think you could like swipe on it, and it starts showing clips of it, right? And uh, yeah, man, a couple seconds into each one of those, I'm like, whoa, okay. Scroll down, next one, nope, nope, no, nah, man. There was not, there was, this is, nah. It's fucking disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. Pornhub's fucking disgusting. They straight up, yeah, they straight up had child fucking porn, dude. 
I've never felt more guilty for coming in my life. No, I'm ki <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Obviously, I, you know. No, honestly, I did a fucking 180. Uh, I mean, I, uh, you know, I wish I could say my boner fucking went straight down, but it didn't, you know. It didn't get any harder. I mean, it doesn't get any harder. But, um, no, but I mean, it didn't get any harder or anything. But, like, uh, I was a little pissed off. I kept swiping, 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 and then I just started skipping back pages, you know, back to the home page. And I was like, all right, you know, and I finished it off. And, uh, but so yeah, so I'm on the market, man. I need to find another fucking website because, yeah, Pornhub is legitimately, you know, it's, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, he, there's like the, the Mexican, whatever Mexicans, like the Epstein of Mexicans, he's connected to Pornhub for sure. It's fucking gross, right? So fuck Pornhub. I don't know if anybody else wants to boycott Pornhub with me, but, uh, you know, I, I saw it in the Latina section, and uh, uh, I recommend you stay the fuck away from it. But, uh, so yeah, so if anybody's got any fucking recommendations, uh, drop it in the comments on, the, on the fucking YouTube, right? Um, yeah, pretty fucking, pretty fucking appalling after I finished that nut off, dude. I mean, but I had to finish, you know what I mean? But I'm, obviously, I have morals, you know, so I went from teens to, to MILFs after that. You know what I mean? I had to, you know? I had to respect. Um, so, yeah. Um, speaking of horrors, right? Um, so, there's this fucking... There's this show called uh, Dream, Dream Makeover on Netflix. Um, I... I don't know, where's that? This is like this like fucking skeletal looking Filipino bitch with a white guy, a redhead, uh, on, I don't know, it was probably on HGTV or whatever. They own the Magnolia Farms thing, right? I mean, a lot of people know what that is, but they, they do the home makeover bullshit, right? Or they, they, basically some asshole with a ton of money is like, I want to buy that house, but I want it to look badass, so they... Fucking buy the house and they're like you bitches get in there rip it to shreds and then make it fucking dope the way I want it You know, and it's honestly an awesome show to watch, right? So there's a new one called dream makeover on uh, on the Netflix and uh, It's uh, it's some fucking some fucking honestly. She's pretty hot, right? She's she's I don't know, she's just got this look in her face, like, you just want to throat fuck her, you know what I mean? Uh, her name is, uh, what is it, Shay and Sid McGee, you know what I mean? And, oh, God, Sid, man, Sid, you know, I mean, I mean, fucking Sid, bro, Sid, uh, he, he's not as tough as you think, it's, I mean, the first thing I think of, of a guy named Sid is, uh, Fucking Sid from Toy Story, right? That guy was an asshole. He was probably he was probably tough. He probably got into a lot of fights, or he was a fucking bully, whichever one. But this isn't that fucking Sid, all right? This Sid is a. Uh, I mean, he, he's a male feminist for sure. Um, I think the couple's from California. Now they live in. I don't know some state where all the rich white people stay. You know those one percenters and shit. Um, and, uh, you know, she's actually pretty fucking hot. And, uh, I swear to God, man, she's fucking every single contractor. Like, every episode, I think I only saw, like, six episodes or something. Maybe less than that, because I probably slept through some of them, too. Um, I usually put her on late at night, and I'm, like, the only one. I'm, like, I'm trying to watch her with Jasmine, but usually she's passed out. But we like watching that fucking home shit, because I'm trying to buy a house soon, so it's... Cool for ideas, right? But the only thing I can think of this entire time is one, fuck you rich white folk, right? I just 100% hater mentality while I'm watching that show. Um, and then two is like, when is she going to start an OnlyFans? And three is, it's only a matter of time before I see the headline of her banging every single contractor she sees because you see Sid right her her husband he, he he's a fucking feminist dude and they met in LA 100% he's a fucking feminist dude he's a little bitch this guy's 
This guy, I mean, he, a guy in a wheelchair would whoop his ass. And, uh, <laughs> like, the guy's fucking, it's, it irks you to look at him. Like, you know, if you're just like a regular man, like a man type man, like, he's the next Caitlyn Jenner. You know what I mean? Like, he, he fucking hates toxic masculinity and he's just, dude, he's, and he even makes himself look like a bitch during the show. Like, he even talks about himself not being able to do those manly things and shit. And then there's one episode where he kind of helps out. And uh, actual men are moving a couch around. And he's being all cutesy. Like, moving around with them, with the couch. And then he hides behind the curtain. And... Uh, and fuck, man, I've never seen, I don't think we'll ever see a man emasculate himself on TV more than this fucking guy. Besides Caitlyn Jenner. Obviously, he emasculated himself for years. Up until he just, I mean, him switching to a man is basically, you know, what's the the Japanese thing where they stab themselves with a fucking, uh, they gut themselves like a fish with the, with the fucking, the, sword dagger thing right I mean that's basically yeah Caitlyn Jenner basically fell on his own sword you know because he just spent all these years just making himself the biggest bitch in the house right but that's what this guy's doing and this poor fucking guy he, I mean he's a nice enough guy you know what I mean uh, I would never invite him to my house if I worked with him you know what I mean because he's a bitch but but uh but he's not, a, he doesn't seem like a bad person. He's just, you know, just a bad man. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, and, I'm, and I'm not saying he's, like, mean. I'm saying he just absolutely sucks at being a man. You know what I mean? And uh, and you could almost kind of see, like, like, the fucking disappointment in, uh, what's that bitch's name? Shay. Uh, you could almost see the disappointment in her eyes, you know, like, she's like, fuck, that's who I gotta go home to, I mean, it's just, it's, they've been married, like, 15 or 20 years or something, and poor girl's only ever done missionary, you know what I mean, like, she looks so fucking thirsty, dude, so now, every time she goes to a house, she meets a new contractor, or they, or at least in the show, they introduce a new contractor, which, you know what, in the show, you could see, no, nah, yeah, no, you know what, yeah, you could see sexual tension, man, all right, I don't know if they have fucked already, but I guarantee you they're going to, all right, and it's only a matter of time before the divorce proceedings get put on TV, just like, uh, the, the, the fucking Tiger King, the Carol Baskin murder. Well, actually, the murder case is out the fucking window. I think she's on Dancing with the Stars or something. But, uh, yeah, dude, this country's fucking insane. Televise somebody's demise. That's what we're doing. We're televising this guy's demise. Mm. Poor fucking guy, dude. He's getting castrated fucking on national television. Um, but yeah, he's pretty fucking bad, dude. I feel bad for him. Sort of. And at the same time, I kind of want to punch him in the face and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. See how that feels? That's like, uh, it's like one of those things you need to know as a man. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I feel like, like if you've never been punched in the face once in your fucking life, you're not really a man. I mean, I'm not saying that, like that's what defines a man. It's like, oh yeah, I've been punched in the face. I mean, what defines a man is cock and balls, right? But I mean, like, I mean, if you're if you're gonna if you're born with cock and balls and you tuck them, like your entire life, you know, it's just kind of like, dude, fuck, man, you know. I mean, it's like, it's like, oh, hey, uh. It's like, oh, hey, Sid, your wife cheated on you, huh? I'm not the guy that's going to be like, oh, man, that's, that's, uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to be like, well, fuck, man, why didn't you do anything about it? You know what I mean? Like, you could have prevented it by just, I'm, dude, just throw one leg over. 
you know what I mean? Just hit it from the side or like make a little make a little Big Mac out of her ass and clam, you know, and just fucking slam it from the side or try doggy style. I know you think it's primitive and you you know it's 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 not feminist enough or something. I don't know, man. Disrespect her a little bit is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Slap her. Fucking make her call you daddy. You know what I mean? You could have prevented this. I, honestly, at this point, like, I'm gonna actually going to be really disappointed if she doesn't fuck the contractor. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, as much as I feel bad for him, I feel far more sorry for her. Like, this poor lady's got two kids with this guy, and, uh... I mean, fuck, dude. Like, as much as she's got her own TV show, right? And, and that just goes to show that rich people are never really happy, right? Because, because so this, this bitch got her own TV show on Netflix, right? So, obviously, bitch got money for days, right? And that is, like... That's going to be a clean cut case of money can't buy you happiness because she's got a lot of fucking money. She's got two kids with a guy that, you know, she used to love and, uh, you know, you know, she's she's content with the situation up until Netflix is like, oh, you know, like we loved you for a second season. But uh, can your husband be less hands on? <laughs> you know? Or, or some fucking fucked up shit like that. Like, oh, dude, that'd be the worst. That'd be the worst if, like, if Netflix ends up being the fucking, the, the, the hatchet that cut him out. You know what I mean? Like, imagine that. Like, oh, dude, poor guy. But, uh, but yeah, man, I mean, if you, you know, if, if everything goes south and, you know, if, what, if, what if she cheats on him with the contractor, which... I mean, I don't blame her if she did. The guy's jacked as fuck. And it's not just one guy. It's like it's like three... Uh, what's the fucking guy's name? It's like Johnny Sins. It's like three different versions of him. It's like three different tones of Johnny Sins, right? So it's just like, like why wouldn't she? Obviously, like, come on. You know what I mean? These guys are hot as fuck, right? Versus, you know, this fucking feminist over here. It's got half a fucking vagina. Um... So, like, I, you know, um, fuck, who, who, who was I saying? God fucking damn it, Chris, you're such an idiot. Mm. Well, yeah, you know, the divorce proceedings, you know, she's gonna, or yeah, what if, what if, uh, you know, the divorce, so she ends up cheating on him, right? They got this whole show together. Who knows what kind of paperwork they signed up for, so then... So then, you know, the guy ends up suing uh, Shay, you know, he ends up suing his ex-wife for fucking custody of the kids and all their money. And then, you know, then we're going to see Shay. I mean, I fucking, I mean, God, I hate to say it, but, you know, I mean, she's going to end up with an OnlyFans, you know what I mean? But at the very least, she got plenty of exposure on Netflix. So now... You know. So you, now, I mean, the DI, you know, because, uh, so she's going to have an OnlyFans. But, I mean, now she's already got a, a huge, uh, a huge fan base. You know what I mean? Because she was on that fucking show, right? I'm a DIY guy, right? So if she starts a fucking OnlyFans and I see that shit come up on my feed, like, oh, fuck, you know what? gotta support the homegirl you know what I mean? but no you know then then you're gonna have a bunch of other fucking other fucking rich white folk that are just like oh yeah poor girl you know let me support her and throw some dollars at her hmm. so i mean even if she loses her fortune on on her little dream idea of uh design interior design right um fucking She's gonna, ironically, she's gonna lose it all to a contractor rearranging her walls, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, that, that shit's, that's just great TV, you know what I mean? Especially when you can see the actual tension. I mean, I'm, 
I could be wrong, guys, because I'm a fucking idiot. You know what I mean? I'm just speculating. I'm speculating, if you will. Mm. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, how great would that be? That'd be fucking great. You know what I mean? Like, I, I would love it if I was right. You know, like, it'd be pretty dope. You know, I'm not actually gonna follow anybody's OnlyFans, but if she does get one, I'll fucking put her name up on this fucking podcast for sure. Um. And speaking of putting up names, uh, which is follow me on Twitch, it's Dropping Bombs 90, Dropping Bombs 90 on Twitch. And uh, if you follow this, uh, obviously subscribe, share it. Um, I don't know, dice up your own little clip of the funniest fucking part and share it. I mean, if you could advertise this shit for me, that'd fucking be a great help because I ain't paying nobody. Uh, I don't have any fucking advertisers. So, um, I guess that that's going to be it for today. Uh, which, anyways, shout out to my cousin Serge. Um, this fucking uh, Niners uh, key holder and stuff is fucking amazing. I love it. It's man cave as fuck. Um, I really appreciate it, bro. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, bro. I appreciate it a lot. And uh, thank you very much. But uh, that's it, guys. Peace.